Steam and mud billowing from a still active volcano are preventing recovery crews from getting to a New Zealand island where a sudden eruption hit dozens of tourists. The number of people missing and presumed dead after Monday's eruption is now up to nine at this hour. The confirmed death toll is six. Ramey Innocencio in Fakatani, New Zealand, has more on the story. Two days after erupting, White Island remains a death trap. This morning, an increase in seismic activity made it too dangerous to dispatch recovery crews. We all agree that retrieving bodies of the deceased from the island is an absolute imperative. Every day that passes with those bodies unrecovered is a day of anguish for their loved ones who have been affected. At least 30 people are being treated in hospitals across the country, pushing burn units to capacity, with supplies being flown in from places including the United States. This is just the start of a very long process that for some patients will last several months. A five-mile exclusion zone has been set up all around White Island. That means neither boats nor planes are allowed. And it's not just a legal regulation, it's cultural too. Many people here are members of New Zealand's indigenous Maori. Poroto Garopo is one of their leaders. We have uh, a living, breathing volcano. She is life. She does breathe. She exists. The whole domain of going into where she is, there's always going to be a risk factor. And earlier today, a volcanologist with New Zealand's Geoscience Agency told us there's still a 40 to 60% chance of yet a second eruption happening in the next 24 hours. Residents here are already dealing with frayed nerves and frayed emotions. For CBS This Morning, Ramey Innocencio, Fakatani, New Zealand.